My area of research is looking at the engineering approaches that are based on clinical problems where nerve tissue gets damaged. So in road traffic accidents, in blast injuries from landmines, for example, we have severe damage to tissues, the skin, the muscle, the ligaments, and also the nerves. And in order to repair nerves, we need to understand how we can implant devices that can guide their successful regeneration. We are using 3D printing in order to make small biocompatible little devices that degrade over time that a surgeon can implant to accurately guide those nerves to regenerate the injured tissues and help them repair. Modern printing techniques such as uh, inkjet or extrusion cannot offer the ability to make these small features. 3D printing, on the other hand, enables us to do just this. In my work, we use lasers to make 3D constructs for uh, nerve guidance conduits to help the nerve regenerate. Um, we, make, we use photocurable resins where the laser um, ir irradiates the resin and the resin cures and makes you a 3D construct. Uh, we use, we use um, biocompatible, biodegradable materials um, for making these nerve guidance conduits. Our question, main question is what is the ideal bespoke um, structure for nerve guidance conduits to uh, regenerate the nerve ideally? One in a thousand people a year incur a peripheral nerve injury, so part of um, this population will be able to be helped um, by this technology. So in order to make the 3D printed guides out of very, very small structures, one of the major issues is creating new materials that are biocompatible that can also be 3D printed. So while we like to use the 3D printing before we can do that, we actually have to make quite a lot of the new materials biocompatible and also able to be 3D printed for the clinical implantation part. We think using this particular type of approach for implanting these 3D printed nerve guides will transform the lives of patients who have sustained serious injuries.